Yo, how's it going guys? Welcome to a brand new YouTube video. I hope you guys are all doing great. Today guys, we are going to be talking about Resident Evil 9. And I know we don't have too much information about Resident Evil 9, but I thought about it and we should make a video about it because we do know some information from Resident Evil 8 and some leaks and we're going to be talking about that all in today's video. Now I do want to preface, none of this information is confirmed and we are going to be going off speculation for a bit now. And well, I just really want to preface, take everything with a grain of salt in today's video. Now if you guys do go on to enjoy today's video, I would really appreciate if you guys could drop a like. Like, subscribe if you guys are new and put notifications on so you guys don't miss a video i'm gonna be posting a lot way more and yeah i can't wait for you guys to see the content that i have piled up i'm gonna be talking about another game relatively soon actually i think tomorrow i'm gonna be dropping a video on it um resident evil content will not be going away it'll still be here but i'm going to be talking about another game release actually that i'm excited for and it's going to be a remake actually of a game that i played once back in the day but i never got to finish and uh yeah beside all that let's just get into today's video so resident evil 9 resident evil village is the second game in the trilogy resident evil 9 will be the last game with the numbered entries and it will be the last game to end off the trilogy now essentially resident evil outrage is an example resident evil outrage is a side off game it's obviously a spin-off but they're gonna stick to one story games and they're not gonna be you know tying games together anymore they want to just tell stories in their own games and i think this is a very lovely idea because i mean i would love to see more stories in the resident evil uh franchise you know uh yeah but resident evil 9 will most likely be about rosemary winters now an adult living um and she's going to she's obviously a bioweapon and she's going to be trained under chris redfield's leadership chris will be around in resident evil 9 because he's promised to take care of rose and also he would be investigating the bsa plot in resident evil village i don't want to spell too much into that but yeah uh resident evil 8 leaves off with the bsa plot and um, i'm wondering where they're gonna go off with that maybe in resident evil 9 that's one thing that i do want to pick up on um but the father story is now done popping up at the end of the game we can conclude that ethan will be maybe mentioned but not playable or a big part of resident evil 9 the game will be more strictly heavily emphasized on rosemary winters and we're gonna see what she has now this is one thing that i want to speculate i want to see i want to see if we can see her with new like abilities maybe she does have the regenerating factor that ethan had and maybe she has some other weapons because she does tell the government agent guy with sunglasses like i have way more things that you possibly didn't even know and he basically she basically scares the shit out of him um but yeah that's something that i would love to see some abilities you know what we can play we're, we're gonna be able to play as her um i do see chris being around in the game i saw this around on reddit too that leon might be a playable character in the game i highly doubt that resident evil 9 is being codenamed apocalypse uh from what the leaks are suggesting and again that's pretty much all we know now i'm gonna be going over the release date and like what my speculation is on this resident evil 7 took about five years down after resident evil 6 so from resident evil 6 got released in 2012 then five years later resident evil 7 came out they wanted to you know rebrand the series make it more horror emphasized and while well, they took the time needed uh resident evil 8 came three years later after resident evil 7 uh resident evil 8 and i'm this is what i'm guessing resident evil 8 launched in may of 2021 now 2022 20, 2023 20, 2024 20, now we also do conclude that outrage hasn't even been announced yet and it's still a game that's going to be coming out soon we know that it, it's a game in existence like you can't can you can't tell me that it's not but there's a game that's going to be coming out and essentially that's pretty much all the information we do know about resident evil 9 there's not much known about it and i just wanted to make this video to you know let people know about what what we do know again i wanted to preface this and i want to preface this again take everything with a grain of salt now some of the information that i didn't mention in this video we do get from in-game like you know notes and like in-game information 
Um, but one thing that I really would like to see is Resident Evil 9 um, pick up on the BSAA plot. Uh, that was something that I was very, very hesitant about because I don't know if they're going to be making it as a DLC. I can see Capcom, uh, you know, bringing that story plot to an end with a DLC, and that's pretty much what I'm thinking that they're going to do. Now, where the stories are going to end, I'm not sure, but... That's all we know about Resident Evil 9, guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, I would really appreciate a like. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.